Okay, I'm starting the recording. We have uh, five minutes while the potatoes are boiling. And <laughs> Sabrina asked us to um, to tell, talk about uh, to introduce the aliens' personalities again. Um, I guess Takur is the most. I'll just start from Takur. Takur is a Lyran female, very tall, hairy, but very feminine. But um, and very, very smart. She's like the administrator, secretary, gatherer of facts for the spaceship that is going around the North American continent. And she has a lot of responsibility. And she also has a hand in the colonies as well. I think more uh, writing down the facts that they've learned and things of that nature, but she knows a lot about the colonies. How tall is she? Um, I think she approaches about nine feet. Uh -huh. What dimension is she? She's right now in the fourth dimension. So they're always in the fourth dimension. Yeah, can right. they go full third dimension? Yes, uh -huh. they can, yes. Um, I'm pretty sure that most species started in the third dimension. Uh -huh. So what race is she? She's Lyran. Talk about Lyrans. Lyrans are the original, one of the original races in the, that we know about because they had their own Garden of Eden kind of thing on their planet. And um, their planet was originally destroyed eventually by reptilians who were jealous of the fact that they had a Garden of Eden and God wasn't treating them fairly. So. So they had a war about that. And um, now the Lyrans are all through the universe or that we know of mm -hmm. and um, are very well respected and their story, their legacy uh, lives on and, and it makes them a very noble people They're among the other races. Uh -huh. So... Uh. Um, once I was asked... Uh, who of the aliens, I, I asked Lakesh, who of the aliens I would, uh, I could hug. And he said, Lirans would mind hugging, but you have to warn them not to crush you when they hug you. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, they're big. So, but, and then there's Dizdu, who's the commander. He's a Yayil. He's the uh, go-between between the Arcturians and the, uh, the spaceship uh -huh. around the continent. And he, uh, has many ideas and he's the one that presented all of Max's ideas to the Arcturians and many of them were supported eventually and that was a really good thing because that's how the colonies got started yes. and how many colonies got started because they were going to do one and Max suggested to do more and diversity and all that sort of thing and um, Voila, they're learning a lot from especially Colony 1 and 3, which is, one is where the, uh, the, uh, what are they called? The telepaths? telepaths are, and 3 is where all the videos are being made, or videos are being collected, I should say. They're not all being made there, but they're being made all over the place, but they're being collected there to be viewed by other colonies to see if how effective they are and also by other aliens to see how effective they are and if they match all the protocols that they're supposed to match and uh, give the message that the galaxy wants to give. How tall is this dude? These dude is not real tall. I'm not sure how tall he is. Probably five something. Five, five something. Close to six. Yeah, close to six foot. But he's not quite six foot. No, it's all according to what they say. Right. And um, and then there's Tepe, uh -huh. who is a, a Pleiadian. And he is more of the doctor type. I think he's more on uh, science, but he's also a... Uh, Climate expert. Yeah, he's a climate expert. I spoke also. to him. He speaks climate. His most inter his most focus of thinking of consciousness is about climate. Yes, and he's about seven feet tall, so he's pretty tall. 
And um, he's actually, I don't think he's ever been on camera. Has he? He might have. But he spoke on them a few times, maybe two, three, he four does, times. He goes, he has a go-between between, between um, Takur a lot of times, and um, he doesn't really talk all that much. So I'm not sure. I know that he's very intelligent, very friendly, nice, uh, very calm person. The first time we met him, though, he was angry, I think. He was upset, not yeah, angry. Yeah, not angry, upset, you're right. But um, since I was upset then, with human politicians. Yes, with human politicians. And I said, "Why are you upset? Don't you know the law of a law of attraction?" And he said, "Oh, it doesn't apply to us. I know it's it's, but you know we accept it. Exceptional, excluded, that mm -hmm. sort of thing." Mm -hmm. So he was very interesting. So. Um, so mostly we speak with, uh, and initially we spoke a lot with this dude, and uh, now we speak with Lakesh and. Uh, Takar. Mm -hmm. So Lakesh is the next one, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, he's a blue. He speaks from his planet. Um, and he comes to us directly. And he actually comes into my body in a w different way than anybody else does. He more or less comes into my body and his arms reach out to about here and his legs come down to about here. And, but he's able to stretch out in the body eventually spiritually so he can move my fingers and things of that very nature but he's a very uh hands-on kind of guy <laughs> and he's a very friendly and personable person a lot of people love lakesh's energy he's a blue and he's short 5.1 or 2 and he has four a thumb and three fingers and a big toe and three toes and he glides instead of walks it's his uh, he has privileges that other people don't other aliens on his planet don't so he can is allowed to glide he doesn't have to if he doesn't want to it's something that he just enjoys doing I guess and he has a couple significant others and he just had a granddaughter two? he has at least two yeah oh, I didn't know. Yeah, he has a few significant others, I think more than two. Oh. But um, on their planet, that's not a problem. And uh, privacy is not an, a problem in their, on their planet either. They're very not private. They just blur, they're very candid and they say many things that we would find objection, objectionable, but, uh, no. but some people would. Well, some people. But um, they're very very uh, blunt but f very but they mean it in a very good way so it's not like they're being nasty it's just that they're being right to the point so and he is uh, he has many fans I think <laughs> yeah, he, nice guy. he has uh, blue I think blue blood maybe because they have copper in the blood I think he's commented about some of that yes uh, also, their atmosphere is very different. Although they have snow and rain, but you know they're they're chemically very different from somewhat different from us. Mm -hmm. Although they are also humanoids um, and related somehow to us, but uh, chemically they're quite different. Their skin is translucent, so not very far, but you can see the veins and the art, you know the the blood blue blood vessels and maybe some of the bones. So they kind of not like jellyfish, but you know, in between the jellyfish and, and humans, quite translucent. Uh, and you don't have uh, distinguish them from blue Pleiadian, other Pleiadians. They are tall blue Pleiadians and short blue Pleiadians. So Lakesh is the blue, short, and they're kind of quite different from humans. But tall blue Pleiadians are very close to us. They're kind of seven, eight feet tall, and uh, they're very much related, they just have the color of the skin different. The tall players look pretty much like uh, the ones in Avatar. Yeah. In some ways. In some ways, very much. Although yes, they're um, not uh, they're not cat-like. Cat they're just uh, tall and skinny and uh, and live in trees. That That's the, the connection. But just like in Avatar, they some of them do have gold spots on their oh, skin. They don't, yes. they don't know. How do you they, they know? Um, I was told that by one of our uh, the people that I channel with. Uh -huh. He said that his 
Blue Pleiadian is from the same area that Lakesh is from, and that was, uh, her name is Georgiana, uh, and she has yellow flecks on her skin, or gold flecks, just like in Avatar, and um, so, uh, and we should, we should uh, start the, actually confirmed that. We should start the North fashion. Yeah. <laughs> Color face blue and put gold speckles. Yes. So she does have gold speckles, but... Uh, Yes, Lakesh confirmed that with Jesse. Yes, Jesse. I'll tell how I met uh, first meetings with uh, with these guys. Uh, I guess first one was with this dude, and it was very short. Uh, and he pronounced his name this Jakobo this Duda, and I couldn't get it. So he shortened it to this dude. I still couldn't get it. And I said, "Can you give us just a number?" I thought he could give us a number, and it would be just fine, like number three or something. But he said. Uh, what did he say? These do. These do. These is ten and do as uh, there uh, either two or twelve in French. Yeah, so he gave, gave us like ten and twelve, and uh, you know, in French would be like, and we said okay, okay, and we speak to him for for a short while, and then we say he gave. So what's your name? <laughs> so he, he was probably thinking that we are completely um, unable to memorize things, yes. and which is close to close to truth. So, <laughs> so this dude was say, said he was monitoring me and communicating with me and be around me for about 12 years now. Um, then uh, there were other people around who introduced themselves. There were Rohan, there was someone else who I forgot, sorry. And there was, at one of se second or third session, there was Kerr, and she just arrived, mm -hmm. just arrived. And Jim introduced her as someone who has so like a hoof or hoofs on the head and uh, looked like lioness and the hoofs appar apparently were some technical devices so I don't think she has them anymore but but um, at that time she didn't speak she was uh, not ready to speak she didn't want to speak but <clears throat> Uh, she said only a few words at that time but it was the time I think when she decided you know when Right at that moment when we were speaking, she decided to, she was kind of a visitor, visiting scientist or visit administrator or exchange student, more like an administrator. And she decided to join the project right during that session. And here she is, yes. uh, half a year later, actually eight months later, she's still with the project, being uh, speaking to us most often, Lakesh and, and Takur is now speaking uh, most often with us. And then there's other characters. <laughs> uh, there's um, Sun, who's a fairy. She is a fairy. And we talked to her once, I yeah, think. Yeah, her, her name is Sun. I think, I don't know, is, re is it a real name? or I guess it would be a translation. It would be a translation, I would imagine, or something that she wants to be known as to yeah, us. Yeah, maybe she, it's a new thing. Yeah, something that she wants us to, easy for us to remember. Mm -hmm. So she called herself Sun, and she was delightful. And she actually came again and wanted to speak, but we didn't speak. No, again. she was in the room, but she did not speak. So, so we invited her to come again and read us poetry and prayers and uh, mm -hmm. just chat. You know, she was wonderful. We got lots of hits because of her. Lots yes. of video hits. Yes. And then there's C Cint... What is her Cintia. name? Cynthia. 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 Yes, Cynthia. Cynthia. It's Cynthia. Yeah, Cynthia. She's from Sirius. Cynthia, yeah. Yes, Cintira. Cintia. Cintia, right. Mm -hmm. um, she's from Sirius, and she's a very soft-spoken kind of uh -huh. entity with lots of wisdom, and they speak very generally about things, and they're not real specific about a lot of well, stuff. Well, they ask specific questions to answer specific questions. All right. And specific. they're very much humanoid. They, I think the closest would be Indians, but uh, Hindu Indians, but I'm not sure. There is a recording where she answered all the questions. Okay, and she's very, very sweet, and um, she's come a few times, I think. Yeah. A few times, and I'm sure she'll be coming again. She had said one time she was designated for us, so. Uh huh. From, from Sirius, yes. Yes, so that for we us will. Specifically, Jim and I. Yes, so that was a wonderful thing. I thought that was really cool, and um, let's see, Pentim. 
Yes, he came. He's a Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm -hmm. He actually came a few times at sessions, uh, and he's very he's a very friendly and knowledgeable, and helps those people who wanted to talk to a Yu-Gi-Oh when Dee's Do was really busy. It was Pentim that came, so, and he was. And we have another Yael, which is fish, fishing. He yes. really speaks to the public, but he speaks to us. He works as a secretary and guardian for us, not to allow any bad guys through. Oh, <laughs> my phone is ringing. And uh, somebody said, maybe this dude said that fishing is very interesting mm -hmm. and very unusual and uh, respected in many ways. Very good. Unusual in many ways and respected. Cool. Um, yes. Yael look like. They hybrid between human and greys and look like greys, but they are very have a lot of human Earth human DNA. So right. we are cross. They look cross a little like the ET, like on uh, ET phone home, but the movie ET. They look a little like that, ah. but oh, yeah. not a lot. I mean, there's some similarities. So. Uh, Lakesh was introduced to us at maybe third session. He came through and he had a lot of trouble with uh, Girk Fitnier, with the Yell guys and Tucker because they wanted him to behave and he, they wanted him to uh, keep the information <laughs> private. And he was like, a, how do you, what's that word? Like, a person who doesn't follow the rules. Rebellious a little. Rebellious. Although he's uh, not very brave. He's rebellious without being brave. That combination. He's like, uh, to me, he looks like uh, a person on the market, the salesman on the market. Yeah. <laughs> he would be like, not very brave, but very forward going. <laughs> yes. He's gregarious, but yeah. not uh, not brave, right? He, But yet, he has said things that he got in trouble for, and and then he came back and told us he got in trouble for them. <laughs> so. Yeah, but now he uh, and sometimes they, he, they just turn him off. I yeah, mean, they, they turn him off when he starts saying things that if they think he's going to go there where they told him not to go, they'll just cut him off. Disconnect, yeah. Yeah, it'll be an instant disconnect, and and we won't know what he was going to yeah, say. Yeah, Yell is uh, in control of the communications. I think uh, Lakesh uses some of their communication lines to get to us. Well, well, one one thing Lakesh mentioned was. He can switch on his device, communication device, he can switch his character. So he has an interpretation device, he speaks and, you know, and it's like translation device, but also he can switch his character from gregarious, you uh, know, uh, jovial to serious. And yeah. you can notice that, sometimes he's very serious. Yeah, sometimes he can get very, whatever mood he's in, He, I think he sets his <laughs> dials to that, because he's not always the same. But yet he is always the same. But you can you can tell it's Lakesh. It's just that he's doing a different character. It's very interesting. It's very uh, unusual. I, but aliens are human too, I guess. <laughs> Lakesh can be upset. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Tape can be upset. This dude was upset a few times, but it, he had real reasons. He was undergoing. Uh, he was under pressure from Arcturians to to do certain things and he had to make the decision fast so he came to me for advice and, and because it was related to earth so he wanted some advice uh, but uh, Takea she is always keeping her how do you call it? integrity she is yes. very strong and she's always the same yes Takea is always the same when uh, no she there. would be different but she would yeah. Always like work, you know, as a, as a lion person, she would yeah. always uh, yes. stand on the position of honor and never lose her temper. Right. Sometimes she would lose the word. She would take a deep breath and start again from the position of force. She would never lose the temper or be, you know, distracted or something. Right. And it's very respectable. Yes. She is very respected. Yes. Um, a lot of people really like her a lot too. They ask for her during the sessions a lot. Her and Lakesh are the two most popular and um, usually the ones that come. And there have been reptilians that came and 
reptilian. Yes, poem. some reptilians were, were pretty good. Today we got a reptilian which read pretty nice poem, so I thank him and it was a good visit. Mm -hmm. uh, there were a few other visitors, like a hum John Lennon visited us once, thanks to him, and it was a I, I, I posted actually the, the conversation on YouTube, look it up, it's on one of the videos. Uh, there was a politician, I forgot his name, but he George was Wallace. George Wallace, and he was authentic, and it makes, watch it, uh, it it's it's pretty educational. Um, ancient God L, group spirit, group consciousness, uh, visited us, there was another consciousness, um, human spirits that raised up, I forgot what was that. But there was another group consciousness who spoke to us. Mm -hmm. uh, Angel Gahil, mm -hmm. very respected, come again. Yes, uh, and Angel Gahil, he comes very short, very quick and short. Not necessarily, some, some visits he was... Always the first like visit of yeah. Gahil, I don't think I published it, I don't remember. I think it's still unpublished, I need to publish it. Okay. First visit of Gahil was very interesting because I... He didn't mind me asking about their physiology. I asked him if they lay eggs oh, by some reason. Yeah. He said, you know, we are more like, I, I, we're not exactly humans, we're more like birds. So I asked him, oh, do you guys lay eggs? And he said, no, we don't. But uh, so, so look, look it up. It's um, either published or I will publish that. It, it was interesting. And Buddha, Jesus and Muhammad. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say about them except that uh, they were. I need to introduce them. They, except yeah. they are spirits, and I read that Jesus has incarnated for the full life many times more, like hundreds of times. And part time he could appear, do something, and disappear. He can mm -hmm. materialize in a physical body at will, and he does that. So sometimes he would come at, as other person, and he would even not know that he is a Jesus. But he has a lot of involvement in our planet and apparently in ascension of lots of other planets during the history. So that's yes. that's his uh, vocation. Vocation, exactly. Yes. He's yes. known in the galaxy for helping others to, uh, the civilization to go from third to fourth dimension. That's Correct. his yes. vocation. One of those things, yes. Who right. else is there? I can't even think. I think we, our food is I ready. Think, I think that was pretty much it. There's a few others, but they were minor characters. Uh, major characters, if if I'm, I'm sure we missed one of, one or two major characters, but uh, we apologize. We need to go eat, but next time we will continue, <laughs> and we accept your donations. The gym takes um, now these days we don't have that as many requests for personal sessions. Call, email, Skype gym, and he will schedule a personal session. What's your rate right now? It's forty dollars a half hour. Let's give a discount. Thirty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> thirty-five. Yeah, thirty-five dollars for the time is he is not fully low. Thirty-five dollars for half. Is it good? Thirty-five. Um, sure. Yeah, thirty-five. I think some business would would help. So thirty-five for half hour for next how long? Rush, let's give him five days. <laughs> no, I know. Give him a couple weeks. Couple weeks. Are you sure? Why? You will be overloaded with orders. You, you couldn't think? provide enough. You think? All right. Um, okay. What is today? I, today is but I want to Friday ne till next I, Friday. And then I, we'll I announce without discount. I should give a discount to those people that already genoed. Yes. You should. should I should send money back. No, no <laughs> money back. No. <laughs> money back guarantee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. We should cut it out or let, let's be serious. So. Till next Friday, you got thirty-five dollars, and regular customers should get some discount. Right, right. Uh, but you know, you, you guys, you, in regular customers, you can do it personal, personal That's discounts. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, we gotta go eat. And uh, for Saturday, for tomorrow, we have a session, but. Apparently we have more than 10 people, so people, who, if you just want to listen, you don't have to register and go in and be there. You can, there will be a link to listen, if, if the whole thing works. So, uh, I'm invite most people who, mostly invite the people who speak galactic languages. This is the major topic these days. So, sp people who can speak galactic languages, comprehend them, are would be the first ones to invite, to, be, to, to get into the video. Unfortunately, I can't control I, I will try to control, but I can't control who comes and who, who doesn't, so I'm not sure how it will work. 
So I'm looking forward for tomorrow's sessions and Meet session Saturday, and um, Saturday. Saturday 10 a.m. New York time. Uh, have a good day. Great. Bye bye. Oh yes. Bye. <laughs> ah. Bye.